Ling, what does this say? Ow, oh, you hit me! Cyril, Ling hit me! <laughs> I'm gonna cut you out of the picture. <laughs> up to this chorus of sheep. It's like a Dolby Digital 5.1 THX surround sound. They've made it their way out to our side of the river. There's some sheep up there. Some sheep by the river drinking water. Bah. Whoa, that was a long one. Start the day in New Zealand. We're back. Wait for me. Wait for me. So that was our um, our wake up call. Who needs to set an alarm on your iPhone? Got a couple hundred, hundred. Wow. We're here at the Dark Sky Project parking lot. Ling had some questions about the Mount John Observatory. I had a question about the night tour. The tour up from Mount John Observatory is $125. Mm -hmm. Why are you um, smiling? Because you're doing what I do to you. <laughs> <laughs> they can only really uh, predict the weather four hours in advance. Mm -hmm. You so can really in know. In terms of the weather, is basically if it's there's clouds covering the stars, then it's What's a no-go. Like yesterday, it was clear the entire day, and then around 9.30, clouds just rolled in, so we couldn't see stars from the campsite, not a single one. All right, I need, I need to hitchhike to get up to Mount John. There's a, there's a car rolling around here. I'm gonna try my luck. Maybe if I flash some leg, it'll work. Oh, go, go, go. Yes, success! <laughs> we did it! We did it! What service? I've hitchhiked before and I've never gotten this service. Hey sailor. I'm Where are you willing to take him? You heading up to uh, Mount John? Yes. All right. Don't underestimate the power of the leg. The brown leg. Even if you're not Angelina Jolie, just try it anyway. Gotta try not to wake the baby. Okay, baby's sleeping. Success. It's like, why are you here? It's like magic. How did you get here? Pukaki? Is it Pukaki? I know. Here we are at the Mount John Observatory. Wow, we're on top of the world, Yumi. So to make it to the top of the Mount John Observatory, you have to pay a fee, a road maintenance fee of $8 per vehicle, but you get an amazing view of the lake, the three lakes actually, Lake Tekapo, Lake Alexandrina, and Lake McGregor. You're just surrounded by domes. Very expensive, I would think. Um, telescopes. Best spot is to take photos. Just look where there's patches of dead grass, where all the tourists stand, and that's that'll answer your question. Look at how dead this grass is. So this is a good photo op. 
This lineup to take a photo reminds me of Roy's Peak. <laughs> Flashbacks. Uh, we waited like 45 minutes to get, yeah, just about 30, 45 minutes. Mount John Observatory. Hey, Bon Bon. Bon bon. Bon 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 bon. Okay, we're back in Tekapo. We are hungry, my. Right, we're going to get some uh, <laughs> ramen in Tekapo. Are hungry? Wait, I'll sit here. How do you say it? you me sweet as? I took this one. That one? Oh, that's what Tito's gonna take. Okay. Okay. Looks nice and fatty. Okay. Sorry. No, it's okay. Give me. I'm just filming B roll. Mm. 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 Oh no, there's a lava. Yumi, I'm gonna jump in the lava. <laughs> Oh my foot! Too much excitement for one day. We'll see you in on Wednesday. Boy, on Wednesday. Yeah. Saying goodbye to the family. Bye, Bye. Uh, buyers. Sweet. Thanks, sir, for uh, for picking me up on the side of the road. Oh, it was because of the brown legs. <laughs> Have a safe drive back to Dunna's, back to Dunedin. Like and I, we will continue our adventure. We are at the Mount John Summit track, that summit that we were at earlier today. We're going to the same summit, except instead of driving there, we're gonna walk there. We're gonna hike there, it's about eight kilometers. So a sign really surprised me yesterday and uh, I didn't know this. I thought that wallabies were native to Australia, but turns out they do exist in New Zealand as well. Not only do they exist in New Zealand, but they're also unwanted, they're considered pests. So if you do spot a wallaby, you have to report them. And Ling the other day saw a dead one on the side of the road. Last time we saw a wallaby was at the Tauranga Zoo in uh, Sydney. And I thought they were the cutest things. Tauranga. What did I say? Tauranga. Like the city. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Tauranga Zoo. If I see a wallaby, I'm not going to report it. I think they're too cute. Kill the stoats, kill the ferrets, kill the possums, but leave the wallabies alone. Mount John walking track. Back the rules, no camping, no fires, no killing wallabies. If you see one, leave it alone. Don't tell anybody. And it's get, terrible. Maybe give it some food if it looks hungry. All right, we're about an hour into the hike. 
the first section was pretty uh, pretty easy going. It's just a road that hugs the side of Lake Tekapo. But now we're beginning our ascent. So the fun stuff begins. So let's have a quick water break and then continue. Thank you. This water is just an unbelievable shade of milky blue. And this is the first switchback. And then after we're gonna continue heading up towards the ridge of Mount John. And just look at this scenery. I'm sure I didn't do too much research on Lord of the Rings filming locations around here, but I'm pretty sure they must have filmed something. If you know, leave a comment below. That rhymed. So here we are, five and a half kilometers into the hike. And since we could see those folks down there, that means that we're pretty close to the observatory with all the fancy telescopes. A lot of huffing and puffing. When you get tired, just stop for a second, take a break, enjoy the view, take a deep breath through your nose, and keep going. Barbed wire, careful. Those are your new pretty boy pants. Okay. There we go, we see it, the domes. That's the sign. I honestly thought we'd be closer. Me too. Hey. My GoPro fell in cheap sh**. <gasps> Ugh. Ugh. Damn it. That's the rock that we were posing on. Almost at the south summit. Ah. Like and subscribe.